Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a week three update. So today I want to uh, share my, you know, weight, but I also want to talk about a theme that I've sort of picked up on with other people's videos on YouTube. A lot of people are going back to work. A lot of people are busier now than they were before when they might have started this weight loss fitness journey. I myself have been incredibly busy. I, without going into too much detail because nobody wants too much detail on this, um, I'm actually finishing up my PhD. I'm writing a dissertation, which is the worst thing ever. It is the worst thing anyone could do. And if anyone is thinking about doing a PhD, I would highly recommend that you don't. But this brings up the theme of being busy. There wasn't a single day that went by this week where I didn't think, oh, I'm just busy. I should just order a pizza. Take it easy today. I shouldn't work out. I don't need to do this. I have this priority in my life right now that's more important to me than my health and my fitness. There are so many things that are wrong with that though. My health and fitness can only make me a better version of myself. And that means a better work version, if, if that makes any sense. The moral of, of the story is that I didn't give up. I kept counting my calories every day. I will be honest. I didn't do a straight up, you know, micro cut. Originally, I was supposed to do three days out of the week. I only did one day out of the week where I ate 1,400 calories. And the rest, I stayed below uh, my uh, calculated BMR. I just, I wanted to just kind of highlight that because I think a lot of people, their routine has changed. And in my case, the amount of work that I've had to do this last week have has been... It's been insane and I have one more week of this where I'm kind of just like staring at my computer screen all day. But I've used that as an opportunity to build in certain breaks where I do get to go outside. And finally, we have good weather, it's summertime, so I really like to get outside as much as possible. In terms of exercise, this is what happened. So tomorrow, I'm hoping to go on a longer bike ride that is a bit more strenuous than the stationary bike. Just like being on a treadmill, I find that being on a stationary bike is a lot less work um, than being outside. And it might just be because there's different degrees of elevation. So as long as I'm like out of breath, I think, you know, I'm doing something. And that's what matters is doing something. I didn't bring water because I thought I didn't drink water when I did the 21 miles and I felt okay. The way back was nothing but wind the whole time. It like came out of nowhere. So pedaling back, it was also sunny. So no water, sunny, in the wind. I I thought I was gonna die. I mean, I I like felt my organs were giving out. Um, I'm being dramatic, but it was really hard. So I'm keeping a log now where I'm gonna write down what the conditions were according to weather.com, just so I know like, okay, so eight mile per hour wind means that it's gonna feel like that. I was also really pissed off that I, it was 24.38 miles. It it wasn't 25 and when I got right back here I you know I used map my ride I saw that and I almost cried because one I was exhausted and two it was like I'm so close oh so next weekend I will be trying my hardest to get to 25 miles so yeah I uh, I made it to 24.38 and I actually did consider when I saw that I did consider going back out around my apartment complex just to get to the 25 miles but then you know I knew that there's one more weekend left in May and I can do it okay so weigh in
So yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a loss. It's not a lot of bit, but it's a little bit. It's going in the right direction. I have decided that I want to incorporate strength training into my routine and hopefully uh, that makes me stronger. It makes me stronger, but the risk of doing that is that the scale might be impacted and many of you have already touched upon that in your own journeys. And I think I'm trying to work toward not being defined by the number on the scale. I don't want to be defined by that number on the scale. I want to be defined my, by my ability to ride my bike, my ability to uh, you know, jog, my ability to strength train, my ability to lift things. Like That's what I want to be my measure of success. All right, guys, thanks so much um, for watching and your support. It, it means a lot, and I hope that you all have wonderful weeks.